Oh, Wetzel. Yeah, good idea to have coats handy uh, tomorrow morning. Temperatures dropping into the low 30s, and uh, I'm looking for a dry start to get your morning going. But as we go through the day, I've uh, cranked up Trouble Tracker a little bit in the rain department because by tomorrow afternoon, a small chance, but a much bigger chance into tomorrow night. Frost, uh, definitely a possibility in many spots overnight as those temperatures cool on down. And as we take a look at what it's like in your backyard here across eastern Ohio and uh, western Pennsylvania, you'll notice a a lot of spots already uh, dipping on into the 30s tonight. A few mid 30s starting to show up. Newcastle 36, 35 down at the bottom of the hill there at Elwood City, uh, 37 in Austin Town, and 40 up in Sandy Lake. So a cool evening uh, setting up. Temperatures are slowly sliding, uh, but going to get near or below freezing in many spots uh, by morning. The clouds are clear, uh, not a whole lot of clouds out there. Of course, earlier today we had those lake effect showers. Those are long gone. Now I've turned my attention to the storm storm system out west. Uh, this storm will make its way across the Midwest uh, through the day tomorrow and push this rain our way, especially later tomorrow night on into Thursday morning. That's when I'm looking for the heaviest rain to move in here at home. So here we go. Future tracker out the door. First thing tomorrow morning, waking up with Rich Morgan. He'll be talking about these chilly temperatures. That's for sure. He'll also be pointing out the fact as we go through the day, the clouds will thicken up for us. Here's a look at noon temperatures in the mid 40s. So uh, we'll get out of those uh, really cool readings by midday afternoon climbing to around 50 degrees. Only a very small chance of an isolated shower or sprinkle tomorrow afternoon. Watch what happens tomorrow night, though, especially later tomorrow night. Here we go toward midnight and into early Thursday morning. The rain just getting heavier and heavier as we go through the morning. These areas of yellow uh, indicating moderate rainfall, and that risk is going to be around, especially early Thursday. As we get into the afternoon and evening, I'm looking for those to scatter out a little bit for us as we get into Thursday night, and it should be gone by Friday. And this is different compared to what it looked like yesterday. Things have changed later this week into the weekend. Hey, that's good news for us. That means warmer temperatures moving on in. 31 tonight, mostly clear, chilly. Tomorrow, temperatures near 50, uh, partly sunny skies, a small chance uh, for that afternoon shower. But let's talk about the seven day forecast. Of course, that heavier rain moving in late tomorrow night on into Thursday. The temperatures in the mid 50s by Friday. The rain should be gone. 53 year high temperature. Here's the change for the weekend. Back to the warmer pattern. 66 on Saturday. A small risk of an isolated shower. A little better chance into Sunday, but temperatures staying warm. 60 degrees and how about Halloween? Looking good. Almost 60 degrees and another 60 showing up by next Tuesday. So it looks like things will turn around into the weekend and early next week.